Should you sell now or wait for the market to go up further? I'm Bronwyn Lipscomb and welcome to my monthly market wrap for September. It's officially spring, the peak season for Sydney real estate, and we finally have some optimism after two years of falling prices. It is widely agreed that the downturn has bottomed out and that we're now on the rise. For owners who have been thinking of making a move this year, there's been reluctance to list. The first six months have been the toughest market conditions since the GFC, and consequently, new listing levels are at their lowest in over 30 years. But a string of favourable events over winter have now created an imbalance where demand is outstripping supply, which is good news for potential vendors. Nowhere is this more evident than in the barometer of auction clearance rates, which have been in the 70 and 80 percentile range for several weeks now. Buyers who are ready to purchase are finally chasing us, asking for off-market opportunities and wanting to transact now. What a stark contrast this is to last spring, where there was far too much supply and not enough buyers, and less than half the properties sold prior to or at auction. Westpac's Housing Sentiment Survey revealed that more than half are feeling more confident about the state of the market than a year ago. This means that this spring is a much better time to sell than last spring, and better than any other time this year. You can be confident of getting a solid price and of selling in 40 days or less. And assuming you need to purchase another property, be it upsize or downsize, there should be more stock coming on through to November. In fact, the sooner you list and sell yours, the better position you'll be in as you'll be able to make a strong offer to secure your next home. Whether sales results continue to hold at this level remains to be seen. The upswing will be tempered by wage stagnation, sluggish economic growth, high household debt, and a diminishing ability for the RBA to use monetary policy to boost the economy. ANZ Bank predict very moderate growth of just 3 to 5% in 2020. Buyer confidence is a fickle thing. The current positive sentiment could easily be overturned if we get a flood of supply or if the broader macroeconomic and political issues start to have a greater influence on the day-to-day -day lives of Sydney families. If you'd like to discuss the market in further detail and how it relates to your decision to buy or sell, please don't hesitate to get in touch.